President Trump fired FBI Director James Comey, saying he was not able to effectively lead the bureau. The president made his decision after the number two man at the Justice Department said Comey mishandled the investigation of Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while she was Secretary of State. While most Republicans supported the move, Democrats say it looks like the president's just trying to stop the investigation into whether Russia helped the Trump campaign in last year's election. It's something that had to happen. Uh, Jim Comey uh, is a bright guy. He's an ethical guy. But the bottom line is when he made a prosecutive opinion in an investigative matter, he made a mistake. We all make mistakes in life. This was a big one that was obvious to everybody. I was flabbergasted to say the least. I think this president's actions outrageous. This is from an administration who says there's no there there in terms of our Russia investigation. Deputy FBI Director Andy McCabe takes over as acting director. President Trump says a search is underway for Comey's replacement. Welcome back, Dr. Jeff Engel, uh, director of the SMU Center for Presidential History. I'm not a lawyer. You're not. You're not a lawyer. But let's talk politics on this. And it just, it looks kind of funky. It. Do, they call it optics in Washington, and the optics are bad. Yeah, this is a this is an unusual case that people need to really be paying attention to because what we have is a president who says that he fired the FBI director because of the way he handled another investigation. Now, put aside for a moment that that other investigation directly impacted the way the president became president. Let's right. put that aside. We also know that the FBI director was investigating the president's campaign. Right. So therefore, Donald Trump has just fired the man who is conducting an investigation into his campaign. So even if it's for other reasons, it looks fishy. Uh, the, in the letter, the president specifically said, thank you for telling me three, on three separate occasions that I am not the target of an investigation. FBI normally doesn't, of course, they, they normally don't do what he did in the, in the Hillary Clinton email case either, but it would be unusual for, some, for an FBI director to say, Dr. Would, Engel, you're not under investigation, yes, it would be I guarantee you. Yes, extremely unusual, and it would be ex extremely unusual for the FBI director to volunteer that information, almost unprecedented for the FBI director to volunteer that information to the president. More importantly, if the president specifically asked that question mm -hmm. to the FBI director, and perhaps the FBI director didn't want to keep answering the question, which is why he was fired, perhaps. But it is very unusual for an investigator and the subject of the investigation to have a conversation about that investigation. Now, let's talk about the Hillary Clinton email thing, because during the campaign, even after the campaign, then-candidate Donald Trump said investigating Hillary Clinton, calling her out, having the news conference that Comey had, which was highly unusual, was the right thing to do. Now it's what got him fired. Well, and, and, and this, I, don't, I can't decide whether this is Shakespearean or whether there's sort of just a great irony here, that of course, uh, 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 FBI Director Comey's discussion of the emails during the campaign clearly played a role in Donald sure. Trump's election. Whether it's the definitive role, we'll never know. Yeah. But it clearly played some role. So the fact that candidate Trump liked what was done, and then President Trump thinks what was done is a fireable offense, that again is an optical oddity. Right. Now, the, the investigation is in the hands of the deputy director of the FBI because his boss, the attorney general, has recused himself from the investigation. So now the FBI, the agents, the rank and file agents will carry on this investigation, come to some conclusion, and present it to the Department of Justice and the guy Department of Justice works for the president. That's exactly right. I mean, the way the special prosecutor role is, is set up now, uh, the, uh, the attorney general is one who would have to nominate someone or put up someone forward who would be an independent prosecutor. There's independent no special prosecutor law. Did there that is. expire? It, it, well, it goes it, back it to the expired, Nixon right. race. Right? It, well, it goes back to Nixon. In fact, Nixon's a really good precedent for what's going on here because Nixon, of course, did not fire his FBI director during Watergate. He fired the special prosecutor. Yeah. But I think what people need to remember, and I think that what t this tells us is that we are at the beginning of something, not this is no conclusions yet, we're at the beginning of something, is that Nixon fired his special prosecutor because the special prosecutor wanted to release and get access to information the president didn't want released and have access to. Right. Nixon was not subsequently in political trouble or impeached or have to resign because of the firing of the special prosecutor. He had to resign once that information became public. Right. Information always becomes public. So if the president thinks that he can squash an, an investigation simply by firing people, 
the next person up is always going to, to have the ability to keep that investigation going. The, the obviously Democrats are, are upset and would love to have a special prosecutor, an independent special prosecutor look into this. They're in the minority uh, in, in both in the, in the Senate and they probably can't get their way. At present, and, and the House as well. And this, of course, yeah. is what makes the, the fact that there has been so much discussion because of the president's health care bill being both difficult to get right. passed and also unpopular, it, that that might actually flip things in 2018 and give the, the Republicans the House. But I, there's a bigger issue going on here that's really troubling to me, which is that Donald Trump has been tweeting about this, the investigations, about Comey's uh, hearings, about other people's hearings, during their testimony, right. before their testimony, after their testimony. I've never seen, as a historian, I've never seen a president have enough time to tweet about an investigation in this way. For, certainly not to tweet, there was no Twitter before, right. but to comment, to, right. to, to follow. The president's supposed to be in charge of national security, he's supposed to be in charge of the economy, he's supposed to be in charge of, of health care. Those are the issues that he is typically focused on. This president clearly is focused somewhere else. Right. Thank you.